Embrace Diversity, written and published by N. Gaslife. In today's interconnected and globalized world, having the skill to successfully navigate and excel in various cultural environments is crucial. Embrace Diversity, Connecting in a Diverse World, is a thorough guide designed to help readers enhance their cultural intelligence and build connections across different cultures. This book explores cultural intelligence and its importance in personal development, career advancement, and fostering inclusivity. Readers will go on a transformative journey of self-discovery, cultural awareness, and effective communication through practical lessons and insights. The book offers guidance on exploring one's cultural background and building diverse relationships, serving as a roadmap for developing cultural intelligence. Readers will understand the significance of being open-minded, humble, and respectful when engaging with people from diverse cultures. They will learn about the differences in rank and status across different cultures and see the advantages of picking up a new language. Furthermore, this book focuses on enhancing important skills like observation, emotional intelligence, active listening, and seeking feedback. By improving these skills, readers can better interpret cultural cues, establish connections, and navigate challenging cultural scenarios with empathy and insight. The book includes real-life examples, case studies, and practical exercises to reinforce the lessons and offer readers chances for self-reflection and growth. The last lesson combines all the information and abilities gained enabling readers to use cultural intelligence in their everyday lives and make a positive impact in their communities and beyond. For students, professionals, or people looking to broaden their cultural knowledge, embrace diversity. Connecting in a diverse world is a valuable and relevant resource. By learning from the content in this book, you will tap into the strength of cultural intelligence and explore the depth and wonder found in building relationships with people from various backgrounds. Lesson 1. Study your own cultural background. Increasing one's cultural intelligence is essential in the more globalized and linked world of today. It is the capacity to recognize, comprehend, and skillfully negotiate the nuances of many cultural environments. Studying your own cultural heritage is one of the fundamental steps towards developing cultural intelligence. You can learn more about how your cultural identity has influenced your worldview and social relationships by exploring your own history, values, and experiences. This self-awareness is a vital first step in building cross-cultural relationships and interacting with people from diverse cultural backgrounds. Examine your family history and heritage as a starting point for your cultural background studies. Talk to your parents, grandparents, and other family members to find out more about your ancestry. Inquire about the legends, habits, and practices that have been handed down through the ages. Make an effort to comprehend the important historical moments and circumstances that have shaped the culture of your family. Acquiring this knowledge will furnish you with an abundant array of insights into your cultural heritage and enable you to recognize the distinct encounters and viewpoints that have molded your family's character throughout history. Examine your family history and take note of the conventions, values, and ideas that have been ingrained in you since you were little. These cultural components frequently serve as the cornerstone of your worldview directing your actions and cognitive processes. Think back on the things your parents taught you, the customs and festivals you attended, and the expectations society had of you. Think about the ways in which these encounters have shaped your outlook, manner of speaking, and relationships with other people. You can learn more about the implicit prejudices and presumptions you might have and how they affect your capacity to interact with people from diverse cultural backgrounds by looking into your cultural upbringing. It's critical to understand that culture transcends nationality and ethnicity. 
A great deal of information is included in the concept of culture, such as religion, age, occupation, gender, and socioeconomic level. Every one of these components plays a role in forming the experiences and cultural identity of a people. Take into account the intersectionality of these diverse facets and how they have shaped your life when you examine your own cultural heritage. How, for instance, have your values and beliefs been influenced by your religious upbringing? How have opportunities and views been affected by your socioeconomic status? You can gain a deeper comprehension of both your own identity and the various experiences of others by recognizing the complexity of culture. Look into your personal experiences and family history, but also spend some time learning about the larger cultural environment you live in. Learn about the customs, history, and social mores of the area, nation, and society in which you live. Look for literature, essays, and films that shed light on the perspectives of various social groups and the cultural context of your community. You can have a more sophisticated grasp of the cultural dynamics at work, and how they influence interactions and relationships within your community by broadening your knowledge beyond those in your immediate circle. It is essential to approach the process of studying your own cultural past with an open mind and a readiness to confront your own preconceptions and biases. We all, frequently unknowingly, harbor some prejudices and preconceptions about people from different cultures. These prejudices may make it more difficult for us to relate to and comprehend people from other backgrounds. You can cultivate a more accepting and compassionate viewpoint by consciously recognizing and challenging your own prejudices. Seek out knowledge and encounters that will make you reevaluate your assumptions and deepen your awareness of other cultures. Reflect on yourself and be prepared to face up to unpleasant realities regarding your own cultural upbringing. Studying your own culture is a continuous process of self-discovery and personal development. Rather than a one-time undertaking, since the world is always changing, culture is dynamic and ever evolving, and as humans, we are continually impacted by it. Understand that your cultural identity is a dynamic, complex construct that changes and evolves over time, rather than a set thing. Be receptive to understanding how your identity and social connections are shaped by the continual advancements and changes occurring within your own cultural community. Accept the notion that acquiring cultural intelligence involves constant learning, unlearning, and relearning throughout life. Engage in meaningful interactions with family, friends, and coworkers who share your cultural history to gain a deeper understanding of your cultural background. Inquire about their viewpoints, experiences, and insights. Pay close attention to what they have to say and make an effort to comprehend how their cultural identity has influenced their lives. These discussions can offer insightful chances for introspection and assist you in recognizing the similarities and contrasts within your cultural group. You can cultivate a sense of connection and belonging, and develop a more sophisticated understanding of your own cultural identity by having candid conversations. Apart from engaging in discussions with others, contemplate delving into your cultural background via other mediums of expression, including literature, music, art, and food. Participate in the artistic, literary, and musical creations of people who share your cultural background. Take in concerts, exhibits, and cultural festivals, honoring your background. Take in all of the tastes, smells, and customs of the food from your culture. You may have a greater understanding of the distinctive contributions and viewpoints of your community by being exposed to the richness and diversity of your cultural expressions. It's critical to approach the process of studying your own cultural background with humility and an open mind. Acknowledge that there is always more to learn and enjoy, and that your knowledge of your own culture is not exhaustive, even if someone else's viewpoint or experience differs from your own. Keep an open mind towards them. Accept the variety found within your own culture, and the fact that no one story can do justice to the depth and subtlety of your cultural identity. 
Examining your own cultural heritage does not imply judging or elevating any one culture above another. Instead, it's about becoming more self-aware, enjoying the diversity of your ancestry, and seeing how your cultural experiences influence how you interact with other people. You set the stage for building meaningful relationships with people from different backgrounds and acquiring cultural intelligence by starting this self-discovery journey. As you gain a deeper comprehension of your own cultural background, think about the ways in which you may use this information to forge connections with others. Look for opportunities to interact with people from diverse cultural backgrounds and exercise respectable communication, empathy, and active listening. Talk about your own cultural experiences and observations while keeping an open mind to what others have to teach you. You may help build a society that is more inclusive and harmonious by encouraging a sense of curiosity, openness, and understanding between people. Studying your own cultural background can help you develop cultural intelligence, but doing so is a transforming process that takes constant dedication and work. It entails being prepared to examine yourself, question your presumptions, and accept the discomfort that comes with change and progress. Understanding your cultural heritage takes time and effort, but it also improves your self-awareness and makes it easier for you to function well in a variety of cultural circumstances. Keep in mind that learning about your own culture is only one facet of becoming culturally intelligent. Seeking out different relationships, educating oneself about other cultures, and actively participating in cross-cultural experiences are all equally vital. You can develop the abilities and mindset required to forge deep connections and cross-cultural barriers by fusing self-awareness with a sincere interest and regard for others. In the modern, internationalized society, cultural intelligence is not only a useful skill, but also a requirement. It helps us to cultivate empathy and understanding, negotiate the intricacies of varied communities, and contribute to the creation of a more just and inclusive society. You can make significant progress toward gaining the self-awareness and cultural competency required to prosper in a world that is becoming more linked and multicultural by learning about your own cultural background. Thus, welcome the voyage of introspection and cultural learning. Examine your own cultural origins in great detail. Question your presumptions and look for chances to develop. By doing this, you improve your personal life and help build a society that is more empathetic and culturally aware. Recall that gaining cultural intelligence is a lifetime endeavor, and that understanding your own cultural background is an essential starting point for creating a more accepting and compassionate world. Lesson two: Seek diverse relationships with people from other cultures. Jennifer found the diverse cultures in her city fascinating. As a young professional, she understood the importance of enhancing her cultural intelligence for success in both her personal and professional endeavors. She chose to actively pursue diverse relationships with people from different cultures to expand her viewpoints and enhance her global awareness. One day. Jennifer went to a cultural festival that honored the rich traditions of the city's Asian communities. While exploring the vibrant stalls and enjoying the tempting scents of street food, she chatted with a kind elderly woman named May. May sold handcrafted paper lanterns and talked about her childhood in China and the cultural importance of the lanterns. Impressed by May's insight and kindness. Jennifer asked her to join for tea the next week. Me and Jennifer connected while enjoying jasmine tea, discussing their mutual passion for art and storytelling. Mime showed Jennifer how to do Chinese calligraphy and told her old folk stories. Jennifer enthusiastically discussed modern art and her family's immigration stories to the city. As Jennifer and Me's friendship grew, May introduced her to her large family and community. She went to vibrant events with traditional music, dance, and tasty homemade food. Jennifer was impressed by the close-knit community and the high regard for older members in Mi's culture. She started thinking about her cultural heritage and the beliefs that influenced her perspective. 
encouraged by her blossoming friendship with May, Jennifer looked for more chances to engage with people from various backgrounds. She enrolled in a language exchange program at a nearby community center, and there she crossed paths with Samir, a young man from Lebanon, while practicing each other's languages. They exchanged stories about their families, dreams, and the struggles they encountered as immigrants in a foreign country. Through her discussions with Samir, Jennifer developed a better grasp of the intricate political and social challenges in the Middle East. She discovered the strength and perseverance of the Lebanese community during tough times and the significance of safeguarding cultural traditions abroad. Jennifer's search for varied connections brought her to volunteer at a refugee resettlement agency, where she crossed paths with Amina, a young mother from Somalia. Amina escaped her country devastated by war with her two young children in search of safety and a brighter future. Even after going through a lot, Amina showed appreciation and kindness for the help she got in her new place. As Jennifer assisted Amina in overcoming the difficulties of adjusting to a new culture, she was deeply moved by her perseverance and fortitude. Amina talked about her experiences in Somalia, the cultural traditions of her Somali background, and her aspirations for her children. Jennifer found inspiration in Amina's drive to create a fresh start without losing touch with her cultural roots. Jennifer's worldview grew significantly through her various relationships. She discovered the beauty of various cultures, confronted her own biases, and communicated respectfully across cultural differences. Reflecting on her journey, Jennifer understood that cultivating diverse relationships had enriched her life and helped her grow as a person. She gained a profound insight into herself and her role in the world, along with a stronger recognition of the common humanity that unites us. Jennifer understood that enhancing cultural intelligence was a continuous process, and she looked forward to expanding her knowledge and skills through diverse connections. She realized that by openly embracing and celebrating human diversity, she could contribute to building a more just, compassionate, and inclusive world. Jennifer moved forward with gratitude and an open mind, embracing a future where cultural intelligence would become a way of life. She understood that by maintaining and developing various relationships, she could grow personally and professionally while also helping to build a more connected and empathetic world, one people at a time. A highly effective method of developing cultural intelligence is by proactively pursuing varied connections with people from different cultural backgrounds. By engaging with others from different backgrounds, you expose yourself to new viewpoints, ideas, and ways of life, which broadens your worldview and strengthens your ability to connect with others. Building ties across cultural borders is not only beneficial on a personal level but also important for success in an increasingly heterogeneous society. To begin your journey of seeking diverse connections, start by going out of your comfort zone and actively seeking opportunities to interact with people from different cultural backgrounds. This can involve joining cultural groups or organizations, visiting cultural events and festivals, or engaging in language exchange programs. By immersing oneself in diverse places, you generate opportunities to meet others from all cultures and engage in meaningful interactions. These exchanges provide essential insights into diverse habits, beliefs, and values, allowing you to improve your awareness of the world and the people that live it. When creating relationships with persons from other cultures, Approach the process with an open mind and a genuine willingness to learn. Be willing to listen intently and ask questions about their experiences, viewpoints, and cultural customs. Show a true interest in understanding their views and the elements that have produced their identity. By displaying respect and a desire to learn, you develop a foundation of trust and mutual understanding that allows for deeper connections to grow. Remember that creating true relationships takes time and work, so be patient and persistent in your interactions. As you engage with people from varied backgrounds, 
practice active listening and good communication skills. Be cautious of potential language obstacles and cultural differences in communication approaches. Some cultures may have a more direct approach to communicating, while others may rely on indirect or context dependent cues. Pay attention to nonverbal communication, such as body language and facial expression, as these can transmit crucial messages. By being aware to these nuances and modifying your communication style accordingly, you may encourage more successful and polite interactions. In creating varied relationships, it is crucial to approach the process with humility and a willingness to learn. Recognize that your own cultural perspective is simply one among many, and that there is always something to learn from others. Be open to examining your own preconceptions and biases, and be willing to accept and apologize for any blunders or misunderstandings. By exhibiting a real willingness to understand and accept various ideas, you provide a safe space for authentic debate and progress. When seeking varied relationships, it is crucial to be cognizant of power dynamics and privilege. Recognize that persons from marginalized or underrepresented cultures may experience specific obstacles and hurdles in forging relationships across cultural borders. Be mindful of your own privilege and how it may affect your encounters. Strive to establish an inclusive and inclusive and equal environment where all persons feel appreciated and respected. By actively striving to deconstruct systemic obstacles and creating opportunities for various perspectives to be heard, you contribute to developing a more equitable and inclusive society. Building varied connections also requires being an ally and a champion for folks from different cultural backgrounds. Stand up against discrimination, prejudice, and stereotyping when you meet them. Use your privilege and influence to elevate the perspectives and experiences of underrepresented populations. By actively trying to promote a more inclusive and equitable society, you demonstrate your dedication to cultural intelligence and social justice. As you create interactions with folks from different cultures, be prepared to navigate cultural differences and potential misunderstandings. Cultural norms, values, and expectations can differ substantially, and what may be considered suitable in one culture may be insulting in another. Be patient, ask for explanation when needed, and approach misunderstandings as opportunities for learning and growth. By keeping an attitude of curiosity and respect, you may work through cultural differences and develop better, more durable relationships. In addition to establishing different relationships in your personal life, examine how you might cultivate cultural intelligence in your professional and academic activities. Seek out opportunities to work on multicultural teams. Attend conferences or workshops focusing on diversity and inclusion. And engage in cross cultural research or partnerships. By actively incorporating cultural intelligence into your job and education, you not only increase your own abilities, but also contribute to establishing a more inclusive and culturally competent professional landscape. Building varied relationships is not a one time exercise, but rather an ongoing commitment to learning and progress. Recognize that cultural intelligence is a lifelong endeavor and that there is always more to discover and appreciate. Continually seek out new ways to meet with persons from other backgrounds, whether through travel, volunteering, or community involvement. By making cultural exploration a regular part of your life, you increase your understanding of the world and enhance your capacity to interact with people. As you establish varied relationships, Be prepared to engage in difficult conversations and address hard facts. Discussions concerning race, ethnicity, religion, and other aspects of identity can be complex and emotionally heated. Approach these conversations with empathy, openness, and a willingness to listen and learn. Be prepared to sit with discomfort and appreciate the intricacies and historical conditions that drive these talks. By engaging in real and bold debate, You help to establishing a more inclusive and understanding society. Building varied relationships is not just about personal growth and enrichment. 
It is also about contributing to a more just and equitable world. By actively seeking out and respecting other ideas, you question the existing quo and contribute to establish a culture that respects and celebrates variety. You become an agent of change, working towards a future where all people, regardless of their cultural origin, have equal opportunity to grow and contribute. In seeking different partnerships, it is crucial to approach the process with a feeling of reciprocity and mutual benefit. Building true connections includes not only gaining insights and learning from others, but also sharing your own experiences and thoughts. Be willing to vulnerably disclose your own cultural background and the ways in which it has impacted your viewpoint. By engaging in a two-way exchange of ideas and experiences, you develop a foundation of trust and mutual understanding that allows for deeper, more meaningful relationships to grow. As you negotiate the complexity of creating different connections, remember to practice self-care and set appropriate boundaries. Engaging with persons from diverse cultural origins can be emotionally and intellectually taxing, particularly when tackling themes of privilege, oppression, and systemic injustices. Take time to reflect on your personal experiences, examine your feelings, and seek support when required. By prioritizing your personal well-being, you ensure that you have the resilience and capacity to continue engaging in the critical task of building bridges across cultural differences. Developing cultural intelligence through different connections is a transforming path that demands continual dedication, curiosity, and humility. It entails going out of your comfort zone, challenging your preconceptions, and actively seeking out opportunities to learn from and connect with people. By forming true relationships across cultural borders, you not only enrich your personal life, but also contribute to create a more inclusive, sympathetic, and just society. Remember. Developing different relationships is not about obtaining a specific endpoint or learning a set of abilities. It is an ongoing process of growth, discovery, and connection. Embrace the adventure with an open heart and a willingness to learn, and you will find that the rewards are boundless. Through the power of varied relationships, we may bridge cultural gaps, encourage understanding, and work towards a society where all people are appreciated, respected, and celebrated for the unique perspectives they provide. Lesson three: Do not be arrogant, but be open-minded. Approaching cross-cultural interactions with an open mind and a humble attitude is a fundamental principle in developing cultural intelligence. Having an attitude of superiority can make it difficult to connect with people from diverse backgrounds, leading to misunderstandings, conflicts, and missed chances. Embracing open-mindedness and humility helps build a strong foundation for genuine relationships that go beyond cultural differences. Developing cultural intelligence involves acknowledging and questioning our own biases, assumptions, and preconceived ideas about other cultures. We all have cultural conditioning and worldviews influenced by our upbringing, experiences, and societal norms. These deeply rooted beliefs and attitudes can sometimes result in feelings of superiority or a habit of evaluating others according to our cultural norms. It's important to recognize that our way of life is just one of many diverse perspectives, and there is always something to learn from others. By questioning our assumptions and being open to different perspectives, we can broaden our understanding of the world and improve our connections with people from various backgrounds. Arrogance may appear in different ways when engaging with people from diverse cultures. It might mean thinking that our cultural practices and beliefs are better or more advanced than others. It may involve disregarding or undervaluing the customs, traditions, and experiences of people from diverse backgrounds. These attitudes may hinder true understanding and result in communication and trust issues. Developing cultural intelligence involves approaching cross-cultural interactions with curiosity, respect, and a willingness to learn. Showing a sincere interest in understanding and valuing various perspectives helps foster genuine dialogue and mutual enrichment. 
Being open-minded is essential for developing cultural intelligence. It requires being open to new ideas, experiences, and ways of life, even if they are different from our own. It's important to refrain from passing judgment and imposing our cultural norms on others when interacting with people from different cultures. We should focus on actively listening, asking questions, and trying to understand the cultural background and influences that shape people's beliefs, actions, and values. By embracing cross-cultural interactions with an open mind, we open doors for learning, personal development, and the cultivation of diverse perspectives. Being humble is also important in building cultural intelligence. It's important to understand that our cultural viewpoint is just one of many, and there's always space for learning and development. It's crucial to recognize our own limitations and the possibility of misunderstandings or cultural missteps when engaging with people from diverse backgrounds. Creating a safe environment for open and honest dialogue involves adopting a humble and respectful attitude, making people feel valued and heard. Being humble means being able to apologize genuinely when we unintentionally hurt someone and to ask for advice and input from others to enhance our ability to communicate across different cultures. To develop cultural intelligence, one must be open to stepping out of their comfort zones and interacting with people from various backgrounds. Actively seek opportunities to learn about various cultures through travel, reading, attending cultural events, or engaging in cultural events or engaging in cross-cultural dialogues. By exposing ourselves to various environments and experiences, we broaden our cultural knowledge and gain a deeper understanding of the world. It's important to approach these interactions with an open mind and a humble attitude, understanding that we are there to learn and grow, not to impose our beliefs or judge others. Being open to feedback and constructive criticism also requires humility and open-mindedness. During cross-cultural interactions, it's possible to unintentionally offend or make others uncomfortable with our words, actions, or behaviors. Being receptive to feedback and seeing these instances as chances for personal development is crucial. By actively seeking feedback from people of diverse cultural backgrounds, we can uncover blind spots, question assumptions, and create more culturally sensitive and inclusive practices. Enhancing your cultural intelligence involves dedicating yourself to continuous learning and reflecting on yourself. We need to consistently analyze our cultural biases, privileges, and limitations and work on broadening our knowledge of diverse perspectives. Going through this process may feel uncomfortable and difficult because it involves facing long-held beliefs and attitudes. Embracing discomfort and engaging in honest self Reflection can lead to personal growth and the development of more inclusive and equitable mindsets. Being open-minded and humble includes understanding and acknowledging the intricacies and subtleties within cultural groups. It's important not to oversimplify or stereotype people based on their cultural background. Every people's identity is influenced by a distinct mix of elements such as race, ethnicity, religion, gender, socioeconomic status, and personal encounters. By being open-minded and willing to listen and learn during cross-cultural interactions, we can gain a deeper understanding of the diversity within cultural groups and prevent making broad generalizations or assumptions. Building cultural intelligence also involves dedicating oneself to social justice and equity. It requires identifying and taking action to break down systemic obstacles and power imbalances that uphold cultural oppression and marginalization. Approaching cross-cultural interactions with humility and a willingness to listen to and amplify the voices of marginalized communities can help create a more inclusive and equitable society. We need to stand up for others and use our advantages to help and empower people from various backgrounds. Being open-minded and humble is crucial in both personal and professional environments. 
Cultural intelligence is essential for thriving in diverse workplaces and multicultural teams in today's globalized economy. Embracing cross-cultural collaborations with an open mind and a willingness to learn from and value diverse perspectives can lead to innovation, creativity, and inclusive decision making. In academic settings, having cultural intelligence is crucial for conducting research that is culturally sensitive. Creating inclusive curricula, and fostering welcoming and fair learning environments for students from various backgrounds. Cultivating cultural intelligence involves staying open-minded and humble, which is a continuous journey that demands dedication and hard work. It requires embracing discomfort, questioning our assumptions, and actively looking for chances to grow and learn. Developing a mindset of curiosity, respect, and empathy. Helps in forming genuine connections across cultural differences and promoting a more inclusive and empathetic world. It's crucial to understand that building cultural intelligence is an ongoing process, not a one-time accomplishment or a final goal. Learning, unlearning, and relearning is a continuous process due to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of cultures. By dedicating ourselves to a lifelong adventure of exploring different cultures and reflecting on ourselves, we can consistently broaden our knowledge of the world and cultivate more detailed and inclusive viewpoints. Being open-minded and humble is crucial for handling cultural conflicts and misunderstandings. During cross-cultural interactions, cultural differences can sometimes cause tension, disagreements, or offense. During these times, it's important to keep an open mind and be willing to listen and understand the other person's point of view. Through respectful conversations, finding areas of agreement, and being willing to compromise and reconcile, we can resolve conflicts and strengthen relationships across different cultures. In the end, enhancing cultural intelligence involves acknowledging our common humanity and the importance of different viewpoints. Recognizing that no one culture is superior and that we can all learn from each other is important. Approaching cross-cultural interactions with curiosity, respect, and humility can help bridge cultural divides, foster understanding, and work towards a more just and equitable world. Understanding different cultures is essential in today's interconnected world. It helps us navigate multicultural societies, form genuine relationships, and contribute to a more inclusive and harmonious world. Embracing open-mindedness and humility helps build a culturally intelligent and compassionate society, where everyone is valued and respected for their unique perspectives. Lesson four: Be aware about the importance of rank and status. Knowing the importance of status and rank in many cultures is a critical step in the development of cultural intelligence. The social standings and hierarchical places that people occupy within a certain culture or cultural setting are referred to as their rank and status. These ideas are fundamental to how people connect with one another, communicate, and set expectations for behavior. Understanding the significance of position and rank is crucial for successfully navigating cross-cultural interactions, because it enables people to show respect, steer clear of inadvertent offenses, and forge closer bonds with others from different backgrounds. Understanding how rank and status differ in different cultures is crucial to cultivating a sharp awareness of these ideas. While rank and position are more implicit or flexible in certain communities. They are clearly defined and strictly followed in others. For instance, age, seniority, and professional titles are frequently given great weight in defining one's social position in hierarchical cultures, such as those seen in many Asian countries. In these situations, exhibiting deference and respect to people with greater status is thought to be crucial for preserving social harmony and averting possible confrontations. However, Rank and prestige may not be as strongly stressed in more egalitarian societies as those found in many Western nations, where people, accomplishment, and merit are frequently prized more highly than hierarchical roles. 
Gaining a knowledge of the complex relationships between rank and status and cultural variables, including age, gender, education, and family history, is essential to developing cultural intelligence. Certain cultures place a great value on age and older people, regardless of their financial or professional level, are inherently accorded greater status and respect. Similar to this, in some countries, the sense of rank and prestige can be greatly influenced by gender norms and expectations. Men may naturally be given greater status and decision making power in patriarchal societies, while women may be expected to submit to male authority figures. Understanding these cultural quirks enables people to conduct social situations with tact and decency, preventing inadvertent offenses or miscommunications. Comprehending the significance of rank and status in professional settings is imperative for proficient cross cultural communication and cooperation. Decision making procedures frequently take a top down approach in hierarchical corporate environments, with those in higher positions having the final say. In these kinds of settings, it is crucial to understand and honor the line of command, consulting those in higher positions for permission and direction before enacting changes or taking big decisions. Failing to comply could be interpreted as impolite or disobedient, which could harm business ties and impede advancement. Conversely, in business cultures that prioritize equality, decision making tends to be more consensus. Driven and collaborative, incorporating information and viewpoints from all organizational levels. Understanding how status and rank affect communication expectations and styles is another necessary skill for effective cross cultural communication. Those in higher positions may utilize nonverbal clues or subtle cues to express their messages in high context cultures where indirect communication is more common. And they may expect others to comprehend and respond appropriately. It is crucial to recognize these nuanced forms of communication in these situations and to reply in a way that shows respect and understanding. On the other hand, those in higher positions might be more specific in their instructions and expectations in low context settings where direct communication is more prevalent. These people value clarity and straightforwardness in their relationships. Acknowledging the possible power dynamics at work in cross cultural contacts is another aspect of developing cultural intelligence, especially in situations where status and rank differences exist. When people from various cultural origins and social classes interact, it's important to consider how power disparities may affect how they communicate and behave. Higher ranking people may unintentionally dominate discussions. Or make decisions without taking the opinions of others in lower positions into account, which can cause feelings of marginalization or resentment. Through awareness of these dynamics and proactive efforts to provide a fair and inclusive atmosphere, people can cultivate more significant and fruitful cross cultural connections. In order to successfully negotiate the complications of position and rank, It's critical to approach cross cultural contacts with humility, respect, and an open mind. It is important to avoid making assumptions or stereotyping others based on one's own cultural perspective, because what is acceptable or polite in one culture may not be in another. Instead, people can modify their conduct and communication style by taking the time to notice and comprehend. The unique cultural norms and expectations surrounding rank and status. This can entail completing study to obtain a greater knowledge of the historical and social elements that produce these hierarchical systems, or it might entail asking mentors or colleagues who are familiar with the cultural context for advice. Being open to questioning one's own presumptions and prejudices regarding status and position is another necessary component of developing cultural intelligence. Sometimes people will unintentionally project their own cultural norms and ideals onto other people, which can cause miscommunications or confrontations. For instance, people from more egalitarian cultures could find it difficult at first to accept the formality and reverence that are expected in hierarchical societies because they think it is superfluous or unneeded. Nonetheless, 
people can progressively gain a more nuanced knowledge of the cultural importance of these behaviors and modify their behavior by taking an open-minded and learning-oriented attitude. While understanding rank and position is essential for successful cross-cultural communication, it should not be used to uphold or maintain oppressive power structures. It is important to remember this. Acquiring cultural intelligence also entails identifying structural injustices, confronting them, and trying to make surroundings that are more inclusive and egalitarian. This could be supporting efforts that promote diversity and inclusion. Speaking up for underrepresented groups and actively trying to remove obstacles that keep people from different backgrounds from having equal access to resources and opportunities. To develop cultural intelligence, one must comprehend not only rank and status in social and professional situations, but also how these ideas relate to one's own identity and experiences. Navigating hierarchical institutions can be especially difficult for those from marginalized or underrepresented backgrounds, especially if those systems do not appropriately represent or value their identities. People can help to promote a more compassionate and just society by actively working to build more inclusive and egalitarian environments and by acknowledging and validating these experiences. Gaining an understanding of status and rank can help you develop cultural intelligence. This is a lifelong process that calls for constant learning, introspection, and adjustment. Others may come across novel and intricate hierarchical structures that contradict their pre-existing understanding when they interact with others from different backgrounds and cultures. People can improve their capacity to deal with these dynamics over time by actively trying to increase their cultural knowledge, asking for and accepting input from others, and staying receptive to new ideas. Furthermore, gaining cultural intelligence entails realizing that ideas like rank and position are relative and context, dependent rather than rigid and unchangeable. The expectations and hierarchical structures that influence social interactions change along with societies and cultures. People can continue to establish meaningful connections in a variety of contexts and preserve their cultural competency by remaining aware of these changes and making the necessary adjustments. In the end, gaining an understanding of the significance of status and rank is an essential part of becoming culturally intelligent. It makes it possible for people to move sensitively, respectfully, and understandingly through challenging social and professional environments. Others can develop deeper, more genuine relationships with others from different backgrounds by identifying and adjusting to the cultural norms and expectations surrounding hierarchy. This promotes cooperation, mutual trust, and understanding. However, Maintaining unfair power systems or accepting them without question is not the goal of cultivating cultural intelligence through an understanding of rank and position. Instead, it entails a careful examination of how these ideas influence interpersonal relationships as well as a dedication to advancing social justice, equity, and inclusivity. People can help to create a more equitable and peaceful world by actively trying to oppose and demolish oppressive structures while also navigating them with sensitivity and respect. Building cultural intelligence is becoming more and more necessary in a world where variety and interconnection are on the rise. People who aspire to establish significant relationships work together efficiently and impact positive change must have a clear understanding of their position and standing as part of their cultural competency toolkit. People may build understanding, bridge gaps, and strive toward a more inclusive and equitable future for all by approaching cross-cultural interactions with humility, respect, and an openness to learning. In the end, becoming culturally intelligent through rank and status awareness is a life-changing experience that calls for constant dedication, introspection, and a readiness to confront one's own preconceptions and prejudices. It entails deliberately striving to build environments that are more just and compassionate, 
while acknowledging the nuanced ways in which hierarchy and power impact our social environments. People can become more effective change agents and contribute to a world where diversity is welcomed and everyone is appreciated and respected for their unique viewpoints and experiences by welcoming this journey with an open mind and a commitment to lifelong learning. Lesson 5. Learn many other languages. Learning multiple languages is one of the most effective ways to develop cultural intelligence. Language is a window into a culture's heart and soul, not just a tool for communication. Being multilingual opens doors for people to new ideas, viewpoints, and lifestyles. Broadening their worldview and improving their interpersonal interactions with others from different backgrounds. Acquiring knowledge of numerous different languages is a life-changing adventure that provides access to novel cultures, encounters, and prospects. People are able to interact with the world more deeply and meaningfully when they are able to transcend the limitations of their own language and culture. Learning a new language gives us insight into the values, beliefs, and social conventions that influence the communities that use that language in addition to teaching us new vocabulary and grammar rules. Through linguistic and cultural immersion, we gain a deeper comprehension of other people's perspectives, backgrounds, and lifestyles. Acquiring proficiency in various languages is a difficult but very fulfilling undertaking. It calls for commitment, endurance, and a readiness to push oneself beyond comfort zones. Every language has its own distinct set of linguistic and cultural difficulties, ranging from learning new intonation and pronunciation patterns to comprehending colloquial idioms and cultural allusions. But with persistent work and practice, people can progressively improve their language abilities, opening up new vistas of comprehension and communication with every day that goes by. Being able to speak with people from different cultural backgrounds directly is one of the main advantages of learning multiple languages. We are less able to interact with people who might not have the same linguistic background when we only use our native tongue. Gaining fluency in several languages increases our ability to interact with people around the globe and creates new avenues for both career and personal development. The capacity to communicate in various languages is a vital skill in today's globalized world, whether it's for friendship, building, project collaboration, or cross-cultural business operations. Acquiring knowledge of other languages also improves our mental flexibility and cognitive capacities. Numerous cognitive advantages of bilingualism and multilingualism have been demonstrated by studies, including better memory, sharper problem, solving abilities, and higher levels of creativity. Learning a new language is a difficult process of code. Switching, in which we alternate between several cultural and linguistic frameworks on a regular basis, by strengthening our cognitive talents, this mental activity helps us think more flexibly and adjust to new situations more easily. Furthermore, acquiring multiple languages cultivates a more profound understanding and reverence for cultural heterogeneity. We become aware of the diverse range of human experiences that exist in the world when we interact with languages and cultures that are different from our own we gain a deeper comprehension of the social, political, and historical factors that influence many societies and come to value the distinctive viewpoints and contributions that every culture offers to the international arena. Accepting linguistic and cultural diversity makes us more tolerant, understanding, and compassionate people who are better able to deal with the challenges of our globalized society. Acquiring knowledge of multiple languages also provides additional opportunities for both career and personal development. Speaking various languages is a significant skill that can help people stand out in the job market in an increasingly international economy. Businesses and organizations from a variety of sectors are looking for people who can effectively communicate and collaborate across boundaries by bridging linguistic and cultural differences. Gaining fluency in many languages can help people advance in their careers, accept foreign postings, and work with international teams and projects. 
Acquiring knowledge of numerous other languages enhances not only our work lives, but also our personal relationships and experiences. By interacting with literature, music, film, and other cultural expressions in their native tongues, we are able to better understand the complexities and subtleties that could be lost via translation. It makes it possible for us to build deep relationships with others from different backgrounds and through exchanging experiences, viewpoints, and stories, we are able to learn more about the world. We become global citizens with the abilities and knowledge to navigate and participate in an increasingly diverse and linked world when we acquire many different languages. It is crucial to approach the process of learning many other languages with humility, curiosity, and a growth attitude before beginning the adventure. Every language has its own special difficulties and benefits, and learning a language isn't necessarily easy or quick. It's critical to accept the unease and uncertainty that accompany learning a new language, and to understand that errors and failures are inevitable aspects of the process. Through an exploration, based and self-compassionate approach to language learning, people can develop the resilience and perseverance required to overcome setbacks and accomplish their language learning objectives. Immersion in real-world language contexts is a successful method for learning many different languages. This can entail looking for discussion partners, joining language exchange organizations, or taking part in cultural events and activities. People can improve their speaking and listening abilities, be exposed to language use in everyday situations, and obtain a deeper grasp of the cultural settings in which the language is used by interacting with native speakers and authentic language materials. Immersion opportunities. Whether from travel, study abroad programs, or local cultural communities, offer language learners invaluable chances to hone their skills and bolster their self. Assurance. Consistent and purposeful practice is another essential component of learning many other languages. In order to acquire a language, one must actively participate in regular exposure to it and practice both productive speaking and writing, and receptive listening and reading. Making consistent success in language learning requires setting aside specific time, whether through online tools, self-study materials, or formal lessons, including language practice in everyday activities, including viewing foreign language movies, listening to podcasts, or reading news articles in the target language, can help sustain motivation and enhance language abilities over time. Creating efficient study methods and tactics is another aspect of learning many different languages. Finding the methods that are most effective for one's own requirements and objectives is crucial as different people may have distinct learning preferences and styles. While some students can gain more from immersed conversation practice, others might profit more from controlled grammar study. For a comprehensive and interesting language learning experience, make use of a range of learning resources, including podcasts, online courses, apps, and textbooks. Additionally, identifying areas for development and accelerating language acquisition can be achieved by asking native speakers, tutors, or language teachers for advice and guidance. It's critical to recognize and honor accomplishments as people advance in their language learning endeavors. Acknowledging progress, no matter how tiny, can help keep motivation and enthusiasm high. Learning many other languages is a long-term commitment that calls for devotion and perseverance. Establishing attainable objectives, such learning a particular quantity of vocabulary terms or conversing with a native speaker, can boost confidence and motivate study. Celebrating linguistic and cultural accomplishments can help to emphasize the importance and worth of the language learning process. These accomplishments might come from language competence exams, cultural events, or people milestones. In the end, acquiring a great deal of foreign languages is a life-changing event that broadens our perspective and improves our quality of life. It helps us to respect and establish connections with people from different origins and perspectives, and it makes the world a more inclusive and linked place. People can cultivate empathy and understanding, increase their cultural intelligence, 
improve their communication skills, and become more engaged global citizens by accepting the difficulties and benefits of learning a language. Speaking multiple languages is now essential in society where diversity and complexity are growing. It is no longer a luxury. Proficiency in a language becomes an invaluable asset for both personal and professional development as we work to create connections, promote understanding, and cooperate across national boundaries. People can expand their views, seize new chances, and make a positive impact on a world that is more harmonious and interconnected by dedicating time and resources to learning multiple languages. Acquiring proficiency in multiple languages necessitates a lifetime commitment, inquisitiveness, and an openness to novel experiences. This trip pushes us to confront our preconceptions and biases, leave our comfort zones, and find new and meaningful ways to interact with the outside world. Through an open minded approach and a commitment to continuing learning, People can acquire the cultural intelligence required to successfully navigate and prosper in a world that is becoming more and more diverse and complicated. Lesson 6 Enhance Your Observational Skills. Improving your ability to observe is crucial in developing cultural intelligence. Observational skills are more than just looking, they require actively focusing, analyzing, and interpreting subtle cues, behaviors, and interactions that influence cultural dynamics. Improving your ability to observe can help you better understand various cultures, adjust your actions as needed, and form stronger bonds with people from various backgrounds. Improving your ability to observe is a continuous process that demands effort and practice. It requires becoming more aware of your surroundings, paying attention to small details that may seem unimportant at first, but actually provide important cultural insights. When you find yourself in a new cultural setting, pause and look around with a sense of curiosity and open-mindedness. Notice the physical space, artifacts, and symbols that are there. Observe people's clothing choices, social interactions, and nonverbal cues. Being fully present in the moment and engaging your senses allows you to absorb cultural information that might otherwise be missed. Improving your observational skills involves honing your ability to interpret nonverbal cues. Nonverbal cues. Nonverbal cues, like facial expressions, gestures, posture, and eye contact, are essential for communicating meaning and emotions across different cultures. By paying attention to and analyzing these cues, you can understand the thoughts, feelings, and intentions of others, even in the presence of language barriers. For instance, in certain cultures, making direct eye contact can be viewed as a gesture of respect and involvement, whereas in other cultures, it might be perceived as confrontational or impolite. By recognizing these subtle variations and adjusting your own nonverbal communication, you can create connections and foster trust with people from various cultural backgrounds. Being aware of cultural contexts and situational factors is crucial for improving observational skills. Cultural norms, values, and expectations vary across different societies, influencing social interactions and behavior. By studying how people interact in various cultural environments like formal and informal settings, public and private spaces, or professional and personal relationships, you can develop a better grasp of the cultural dynamics at work. For instance, in certain cultures, business meetings might adhere to a structured agenda and hierarchy, whereas in others, they could include more informal and report, building discussions. Understanding these contextual differences and adjusting your behavior can help show cultural sensitivity and improve cross-cultural relationships. Improving your observational skills also includes fostering curiosity and inquiring. If you come across cultural practices, behaviors, or customs that are new to you, feel free to ask for clarification or explanation. Approach these interactions with a humble attitude and a sincere willingness to learn. 
Talking openly and respectfully with people from diverse cultural backgrounds can provide you with valuable insights into their perspectives, experiences, and worldviews. Inquire about their cultural traditions, values, and way of life. Pay close attention and genuinely try to understand their cultural background. Showing curiosity and a desire to learn can help you build deeper and genuine cross-cultural relationships. Improving your observational skills involves being aware of your cultural biases and assumptions. Many of us hold preconceived notions and stereotypes about different cultures, often without realizing it. These biases may obscure our perception and restrict our capacity to accurately observe and interpret cultural dynamics. Identify and challenge your biases to improve your objectivity and open-mindedness in cross. Cultural interactions. When you come across cultural practices or behaviors that appear strange or unfamiliar, try to avoid making hasty judgments or assumptions. Instead, tackle these situations with a sense of curiosity and a desire to learn. By refraining from making quick judgments and delving into the cultural background of these practices, you can gain a deeper and more respectful insight into cultural diversity. Another important aspect of improving your observational skills involves paying attention to cultural patterns and trends. When observing and engaging with people from various cultural backgrounds, pay attention to the recurring themes, values, and behaviors that arise. Observe how specific cultural practices or beliefs are demonstrated in various contexts or situations. Identifying these patterns and trends helps you gain a deeper insight into the cultural framework that influences social interactions and behavior. For instance, you might observe that some cultures value family connections and working together, while others focus more on personal freedom and self-expression. Understanding these cultural patterns will help you adjust your communication style and behavior to align with the cultural context. Improving your ability to observe also includes recognizing the influence of power dynamics and social hierarchies in various cultures. Each culture has its distinct power structures and social norms that influence interactions and relationships. By watching how people navigate power dynamics, you can gain valuable insights into the cultural values and expectations that influence social interactions. In certain cultures, age and seniority are highly esteemed and given deference, whereas in other cultures, merit and people, accomplishments, hold greater importance. Understanding these power dynamics and adjusting your behavior can help you show cultural sensitivity and develop better cross-cultural relationships. Exploring various cultural experiences and immersing yourself in different cultural contexts can help improve your observational skills. One way to do this is by traveling to new countries, participating in cultural events and festivals, or interacting with people from diverse cultural backgrounds in your community. Experiencing different cultures can help you expand your cultural knowledge and gain a deeper understanding of diversity. Exploring various cultural environments offers great chances to enhance your observational abilities in practical situations. This allows you to utilize your acquired insights and knowledge to better handle interactions across different cultures. Improving your observational skills includes being reflective and gaining insights from your experiences. Reflect on what you've learned and how to apply it to future interactions after each cross-cultural interaction or observation. Think about the successes and areas for improvement. Consider any cultural misunderstandings or challenges you faced and reflect on how you might have handled the situation differently. Regular self-reflection and learning from experiences can help improve observational skills and develop a culturally intelligent approach to cross-cultural interactions. Improving your ability to observe is a continuous journey that demands dedication and regular practice. Understanding different cultures is a skill that can be improved with practice and experience. Engage in cross-cultural interactions. Seek out diverse experiences and reflect on your observations to expand your cultural knowledge and deepen your understanding of cultural dynamics.
Keep in mind that cultural intelligence involves developing the skills and mindset to navigate cultural diversity with sensitivity, respect, and effectiveness, rather than becoming an expert in every culture. Improving your observational skills includes being receptive to feedback and gaining knowledge from others. Look for mentors, colleagues, or friends who have experience in navigating cross-cultural situations and seek their advice and guidance. Consider welcoming constructive feedback regarding your cultural awareness and observational skills. Utilize this feedback to pinpoint areas where you can improve and develop. Actively seeking feedback and learning from others can help you develop cultural intelligence faster and improve your cross cultural communication and collaboration skills. Improving your ability to observe is crucial for building cultural intelligence. By being attentive and observant, you can better understand cultural dynamics by analyzing subtle cues, behaviors, and interactions. This will help you adapt your behavior to different cultures more effectively. Through curiosity, open-mindedness, and reflection, you can consistently grow your cultural knowledge and gain a deeper understanding of cultural diversity. Exploring various experiences, Engaging in different cultural environments and gaining insights from others can help enhance your observational abilities and develop your cultural intelligence. In today's interconnected world, having cultural intelligence is essential rather than optional. As we aim to connect, promote comprehension, and work together across boundaries, it is crucial to navigate cultural differences with sensitivity and efficiency. Improving your ability to observe and increasing your cultural intelligence can help you communicate better, work well with others, and be a more engaged global citizen, promoting a more inclusive and harmonious world. Improving your ability to observe is a continuous process that demands dedication, curiosity, and openness to new adventures. It's a journey that pushes us to leave our comfort zones, face our biases and assumptions, and interact with the world in fresh and significant ways. Embrace this journey with an open mind and a commitment to lifelong learning, to develop the cultural intelligence required to navigate and succeed in a diverse and interconnected world. Lesson 7. Cultivate Your Emotional Intelligence Developing your emotional intelligence is one of the most important aspects of developing cultural intelligence. Even though it includes a variety of talents, the term emotional intelligence describes the capacity to identify, comprehend, and regulate both your own and other people's feelings. You may improve your cultural intelligence and create deeper, more fruitful connections with people from different backgrounds by laying a solid emotional intelligence foundation. The first step towards developing emotional intelligence is self-awareness. This entails spending some time learning about your own feelings, beliefs, and prejudices. Think critically about how your experiences, beliefs, and cultural background have shaped your perceptions and responses to various circumstances. Acknowledge the emotional cues that could cause unease, annoyance, or perplexity when engaging with people from diverse cultural backgrounds. You can cultivate the self-awareness required to control your emotions and react to cross-cultural relationships with more sensitivity and adaptability by getting a thorough understanding of your own emotional terrain. Another crucial component of emotional intelligence that is necessary for the development of cultural intelligence is self-regulation. It entails having the emotional self-control to react coolly and collectedly in the face of difficult circumstances. There could be times when you interact with people from various cultures and there is miscommunication, disagreement, or cultural clash. It's critical to keep emotional control in these circumstances and refrain from impulsive or reactionary actions that could exacerbate conflict or sour relationships. You may approach cross cultural encounters with composure and an open mind, even in the face of discomfort or irritation, by developing the skill of self-regulation. Establishing emotional intelligence also requires establishing empathy, which is crucial for the development of cultural intelligence. 
understanding and sharing another person's emotions, even when their experiences and viewpoints diverge from your own, is a necessary component of empathy. Attempting to understand the world from their perspective and placing yourself in their shoes is crucial when engaging with people from diverse cultural backgrounds. To do this, one must be prepared to actively listen, to probe, and to try to comprehend the cultural setting and the values that influence their attitudes and actions. You may create a sense of respect and understanding between people from different backgrounds and forge stronger ties by practicing empathy. Another important component of emotional intelligence that might improve your cultural intelligence is motivation. This is having the motivation and desire to communicate with people from other cultural backgrounds and absorb knowledge from them. You are more likely to look for opportunities to contact with people from different cultures, go to cultural events, and participate in cross-cultural learning experiences when you are driven to increase your cultural intelligence. Motivation also entails the ability to persevere in the face of obstacles and disappointments. Realizing that gaining cultural intelligence is a continuous process that calls for dedication and work. Another crucial aspect of emotional intelligence that can significantly raise your cultural intelligence is social skills. This calls for the capacity to establish rapport, negotiate social situations with people from different backgrounds, and communicate effectively. It's critical to recognize cultural conventions and communication styles when engaging with people from other backgrounds and to modify your approach accordingly. This could be changing your words, body language, or voice in order to establish rapport and demonstrate respect. You may form meaningful connections with people from diverse cultures, manage problems, and establish trust by developing good social skills. Having a growth mindset is another aspect of developing emotional intelligence. This entails accepting the notion that you may grow and broaden your knowledge and skills via education and experience. A growth mindset is crucial for overcoming cultural prejudices, questioning presumptions, and adjusting to new cultural contexts when it comes to cultural intelligence. It entails being receptive to criticism, growing from errors, and persistently looking for chances to increase your proficiency and understanding of other cultures. You can approach cross-cultural relationships with curiosity, humility, and a readiness to learn and improve by adopting a growth mindset. Developing cultural empathy is a crucial component of building emotional intelligence for cultural intelligence. The capacity to comprehend and value the distinctive cultural experiences, values, and viewpoints of others is a component of cultural empathy, which transcends general empathy, which transcends general empathy. It necessitates a thorough comprehension of the political, social, and historical processes that influence cultural identities and experiences. You may traverse cultural differences with better sensitivity and understanding, and create more genuine and lasting connections with people from other cultures. If you work on building cultural empathy, acknowledging and confronting your own cultural prejudices and presumptions is another essential step in being more self-aware and culturally empathetic. We all, frequently unknowingly, carry cultural baggage and preconceived conceptions about other cultures. In cross-cultural relationships, these biases might affect our perceptions, decisions, and actions. You may cultivate a more impartial and understanding perspective on cultural differences by consciously recognizing and challenging your own prejudices. This entails reflecting on your own cultural conditioning, being open to facing hard facts and looking for experiences and knowledge that contradict your preconceptions. Active listening is another ability that you should work on mastering in order to enhance your emotional intelligence for cultural intelligence. Active listening is interacting fully with the speaker and making an effort to grasp their point of view, in addition to only hearing what they have to say. Active listening is crucial when engaging with people from other cultural backgrounds in order to establish rapport, respect, and a deeper comprehension of their perspectives and experiences. 
It entails being aware of nonverbal clues. Seeking clarification when necessary and exhibiting sincere interest and empathy. Cross cultural conversations can be more engaging and fruitful if you practice active listening. Gaining the capacity to handle cross cultural misunderstandings and conflicts is a crucial part of improving your emotional intelligence for cultural intelligence. Interaction between people with diverse cultural origins can inevitably lead to miscommunication, misinterpretation, and conflict. Effective cross cultural relationships require the development of emotional intelligence to handle these difficult circumstances with tact and competence. This entails being able to recognize and handle cultural variations in expectations, values, and communication styles, as well as figuring out how to reconcile these variations through polite and open discussion. Being flexible and willing to modify your conduct in cross cultural situations is another aspect of developing your emotional intelligence for cultural intelligence. This means being adaptable and receptive to other people's cultural standards and expectations rather than giving up your own cultural identity or values. It entails being conscious of how people from various cultural backgrounds may interpret your words, deeds, and nonverbal clues and adapting as necessary to establish rapport and demonstrate respect. You may show that you are committed to cultural intelligence and create cross cultural partnerships that work better by being flexible and sensitive to cultural differences. It takes dedication, introspection, and a will to learn and change to develop emotional intelligence for cultural intelligence. It entails having an open mind, actively seeking out different viewpoints, and making an effort to increase your cultural awareness and proficiency. It also entails being prepared to have uncomfortable discussions regarding cultural disparities and inequities, as well as to face and overcome your own cultural prejudices and presumptions. You may improve your effectiveness and empathy as a cross cultural communicator and leader by developing your emotional intelligence and making a commitment to lifelong cultural learning and development. Cultural intelligence is now essential in the globalized and diversified world of today. It is no longer a luxury. As more and more people and organizations work across cultural barriers, Success depends on one's capacity to successfully negotiate cultural differences with tact, empathy, and understanding. Through the development of your emotional intelligence and a thorough comprehension of both your own and other people's cultural experiences and viewpoints, you may create cross cultural interactions that are more meaningful and fruitful and help to create a more just and inclusive world. In the end, Developing your emotional intelligence for cultural intelligence is about appreciating the worth of different viewpoints and experiences, as well as our common humanity. It entails being prepared to leave our cultural comfort zones, listen intently and sympathetically to others, and cooperate to create a world that is more compassionate and just. We can all contribute to building a more inclusive and equitable future for everyone. By making a commitment to continuous cultural learning and development, as well as by developing the emotional intelligence required for successful cross cultural communication and collaboration. Lesson 8 Actively listen and seek feedback. Brian, a young marketing executive, always valued his skill in effectively communicating with clients and colleagues from various backgrounds. However, Working on a recent project with a team from Japan had left him feeling confused and uncertain about how to handle the cultural differences. Brian was eager to enhance his cultural knowledge and turned to Akira, a seasoned businessman with vast experience in cross cultural work, for guidance. Akira paid close attention as Brian shared his difficulties and annoyances. Akira kindly suggested to Brian that developing cultural intelligence involves actively listening and seeking feedback. Being receptive to learning from others and ready to adjust your approach is essential. Brian took Akira's advice seriously and started a journey to better himself. 
He started by contacting his Japanese colleagues, showing his interest in learning and comprehending their viewpoints. He arranged people meetings with every team member, providing a comfortable environment for candid conversations. Throughout these discussions, Brian engaged in active listening by attentively focusing on each people and asking questions to clarify their perspectives. He refrained from interrupting or defending his own stance. Choosing to concentrate on collecting insights and feedback, Brian gained insights into Japanese work culture, including the significance of group harmony, respect for hierarchy, and preference for indirect communication through these interactions. He found that his straightforward and assertive approach, which worked well in his culture, could come across as rude or disrespectful in a Japanese setting. With this new knowledge. Brian started to adjust his approach. He made an effort to establish a connection with his colleagues by chatting casually and expressing a sincere curiosity about their personal lives. He mastered the art of interpreting hidden messages and subtle hints, adapting his communication approach to be more sophisticated and indirect when necessary. Brian frequently asked his Japanese colleagues for feedback to enhance his communication and collaboration skills. He paid close attention to their helpful feedback, jotting down notes and showing appreciation for their valuable insights. Brian observed a noticeable change in his interactions with his Japanese colleagues as he continued to listen attentively and ask for feedback. The team dynamic has shown improvement with enhanced trust, respect, and understanding from all parties involved. Projects were more efficient. And Brian became more self-assured in handling cultural variations. Feeling motivated by his advancement, Brian chose to broaden his cultural knowledge outside of work. He became a member of a local intercultural exchange group where he connected with people from diverse backgrounds and had profound discussions. He engaged in active listening and asked for feedback from his new friends to understand their cultures, experiences, and perspectives. Through these interactions, Brian gained a deeper understanding of the vast and intricate nature of human diversity. He mastered the art of withholding opinions, embracing various perspectives, and engaging with diverse cultures with open-mindedness and compassion. Reflecting on his journey, Brian understood that building cultural intelligence was a continuous process that demanded ongoing learning and growth. He promised himself to actively seek different viewpoints, listen openly, and welcome feedback as a chance to grow. Brian's commitment to listening actively and soliciting feedback quickly established him as a leader known for his cultural awareness and inclusivity. His coworkers, both in Japan and in his home country, frequently turned to him for help with cross-cultural communication and teamwork. Reflecting on the past. Brian understood that his early difficulties with his Japanese coworkers had actually turned out to be a positive experience. They made him face his own limitations and biases, and taught him the skills and mindset needed for success in a globalized world. Brian embraced his role as a bridge builder, using his cultural intelligence to foster understanding, respect, and collaboration across diverse communities. He understood that by listening attentively. And asking for feedback, he could keep developing personally and professionally, and contribute positively to a world that is becoming more interconnected. To develop cultural intelligence, asking for and utilizing feedback from others while actively listening is needed. Engaging fully with the person you are speaking with, observing their nonverbal clues as well as verbal ones, and making an effort to grasp their point of view. Are all components of active listening. In order to better comprehend the experiences and opinions of others, especially those from diverse cultural backgrounds, it is important to proactively seek out their opinions and ideas. You can create more meaningful and productive cross-cultural connections and gain a more nuanced awareness of culture differences by integrating feedback, seeking, and active listening. One of the most important skills in building cultural intelligence is active listening. It entails giving the person you are speaking with your whole attention, 
free from outside distractions or prior assumptions. When you listen attentively, you focus entirely on the speaker and pay great attention to their body language, tone, and words. You pay attention to fully get their viewpoint and experiences, not only to reply. This calls for putting aside your own prejudices and presumptions and being receptive to ideas that may differ from your own. By paying attention, you establish a secure and welcoming environment for sincere cross-cultural communication, while also demonstrating your respect and empathy for the other person. It's critical to recognize cultural variations in communication norms and practices when actively listening in cross-cultural settings. Expectations for nonverbal clues such as tone of voice, eye contact, and personal space may vary throughout cultures. Building rapport and trust with the speaker can be achieved by being aware of these variations and modifying your own communication style accordingly. It's also critical to recognize that there are cultural variations in the ways that criticism and comments are expressed and accepted. Direct criticism may be viewed as impolite or aggressive in certain cultures, but it may also be anticipated and valued in others. You can have a more civil and productive conversation by being aware of these cultural quirks and modifying your strategy accordingly. Getting feedback is just another crucial part of becoming culturally intelligent. In order to fully comprehend the experiences and viewpoints of others, especially those from diverse cultural origins, it entails aggressively seeking their opinions and ideas. Requesting feedback can come in a variety of formats, such as focus groups, organized questionnaires, or casual talks. Instead of being defensive or resistant, the goal is to approach feedback, seeking with a sincere interest and openness to learning. It is crucial to keep power dynamics and cultural conventions surrounding hierarchy and authority in mind when asking for input in cross-cultural settings. Giving criticism to people in authority may be frowned upon in some cultures, but it may also be expected and even encouraged in others. Understanding these cultural variations and fostering a polite, safe space for feedback. Sharing may help you to get important ideas and viewpoints that you might not have otherwise noticed. Finding cultural mentors or coaches who can offer advice and assistance in negotiating cultural differences is another way that requesting feedback can be done. These people can be quite knowledgeable about a certain culture or area, and they can provide insightful opinions and helpful guidance on how to create successful cross-cultural connections. You can quicken the growth of your cultural intelligence and steer clear of typical errors and misunderstandings by looking for and learning from cultural mentors. Seeking comments while actively listening can be a very effective strategy for enhancing cultural intelligence. You can develop more fruitful and lasting cross-cultural interactions and obtain a more nuanced and true understanding of cultural differences by actively listening to others and asking for their opinions and views. This calls for a readiness to venture beyond your own cultural comfort zone, an open mind to novel ideas and experiences, and a commitment to lifelong learning and development. The cultivation of cultural intelligence via feedback Seeking and active listening necessitates a dedication to introspection and personal development. It entails being prepared to face your own prejudices and presumptions and make an effort to dispel them. Although it can occasionally be difficult and uncomfortable, this is a necessary step in developing real and fruitful cross-cultural connections. Through continuous introspection and personal development, you can have a better grasp of your own cultural identity and how it influences the way you interact with other people. Seeking feedback and engaging in active listening are two more effective strategies for fostering empathy and understanding across cultural divides. You can cultivate a more inclusive and compassionate worldview by actually listening to people and making an effort to understand their experiences and points of view. This can be crucial in circumstances when cultural differences could cause miscommunications or confrontations or confrontations. 
You can establish common ground and create understanding bridges if you approach these situations with empathy and a readiness to listen and learn. A dedication to continual learning and development is also necessary for acquiring cultural intelligence through active listening and feedback. Seeking. Cultural intelligence is a continuous process of learning, unlearning, and relearning, rather than a static talent that can be learned once and for all. You can gradually increase your level of cultural intelligence by actively seeking out fresh cultural experiences and viewpoints and by remaining receptive to criticism and personal development. Traveling to and immersing oneself in various cultural situations is one approach to proactively seek out new cultural experiences and viewpoints. You can develop a more genuine and nuanced awareness of cultural differences by traveling to different countries and actively interacting with the people there. This can be going overseas to study, helping in different areas, or just looking for cultural experiences and events nearby. Building different networks and interactions is another method of cultivating cultural intelligence through feedback. Seeking and attentive listening. Engaging in proactive outreach and fostering connections with people from many cultural backgrounds can provide you with invaluable ideas and viewpoints that you might otherwise miss. This can be reaching out to co workers or friends from diverse cultural backgrounds, attending networking events or joining organizations or clubs centered around a particular culture. Promoting more cultural variety and inclusiveness in both your personal and professional life is another way to develop cultural intelligence through active listening and feedback. Seeking. This can entail speaking out against discrimination or cultural bias, pushing for greater diversity in positions of leadership and decision making, and making a concerted effort to provide more welcoming and equal work environments for all. In the end, acknowledging the worth and significance of many viewpoints and experiences is the foundation of cultivating cultural intelligence via active listening and feedback. Seeking. It involves being prepared to move beyond your own cultural comfort zone, listening intently and sympathetically to others, and making a concerted effort to actively strive toward bridging gaps in understanding and respect between different cultural groups. We can all contribute to making the world more inclusive and equitable by making a commitment to lifelong learning and development, as well as by actively seeking out and appreciating different viewpoints and experiences. Cultural intelligence is now essential in today's globalized and linked world. It is no longer a luxury. As more and more people and organizations work across cultural barriers, success depends on one's capacity to successfully negotiate cultural differences with tact, empathy, and understanding. Through feedback, seeking, and active listening, we may cultivate cultural intelligence, which will help us create more meaningful and productive cross cultural connections, as well as a more equitable and compassionate world for all. Lesson 9. Commit to continuous learning. Gaining cultural intelligence is a lifetime endeavor that calls for a dedication to lifelong learning. The capacity to successfully navigate and thrive in multicultural situations is crucial for both personal and professional success in today's diverse and interconnected world. Understanding, valuing, and communicating with people from diverse cultural origins is a component of cultural intelligence. It includes a range of abilities, mindsets, and actions that help people adjust to and thrive in cross cultural contexts, going beyond merely being aware of cultural differences. People can develop deeper cultural intelligence, meaningful connections, and help create a more equitable and inclusive society by making a commitment to lifelong learning. Building cultural intelligence is based on lifelong learning. It entails proactively looking for chances to increase one's understanding of, familiarity with, and proficiency with cultural diversity. This process of learning encompasses everyday interactions and experiences as well as official education and training programs. It necessitates having an inquisitive and open mindset, being prepared to move outside of one's comfort zone, 
and having a sincere desire to comprehend and value other viewpoints. People can overcome their own prejudices and presumptions, obtain a more nuanced awareness of cultural differences, and build the flexibility and adaptability required to successfully negotiate challenging cultural situations by embracing continual learning. A crucial component of ongoing education for cultural intelligence is introspection and self awareness. Examining one's own cultural history, attitudes, beliefs, and biases is necessary for this. It necessitates sincere reflection. And a readiness to face up to hard realities about how our upbringing affects our perspective on the world and how we relate to other people. We may better comprehend the cultural identities of others and grasp how cultural differences may affect relationships, communication, and decision making if we have a thorough awareness of our own cultural identity. Self reflection also aids in identifying areas in which we still have room for improvement. Such as in conquering prejudices. Cultivating empathy or enhancing intercultural communication abilities. The intentional pursuit of many viewpoints and experiences is a crucial part of lifelong learning for cultural intelligence. This is making a conscious effort to interact with others from diverse cultural backgrounds, whether in the context of personal or professional partnerships or community service. It entails leaving one's cultural comfort zone and acquainting oneself with novel concepts, traditions, and lifestyles. We can obtain personal knowledge of the subtleties and complexity of cultural variations by immersing oneself in a variety of cultural environments. We can increase our understanding of the world, cultivate cross cultural empathy, and learn from the lived experiences of others. We can confront our own preconceptions and biases. And cultivate a more inclusive and global mentality by actively seeking out diverse viewpoints. Keeping up with social issues, cultural trends, and current events is another aspect of continuous learning for cultural intelligence. This entails staying up to date with news and media from various local and international sources. It entails studying the political, social, And cultural influences that have shaped cultural identities and experiences. We may comprehend the intricate mechanics of cultural differences and how they relate to questions of privilege, power, and injustice better if we keep ourselves educated. Additionally, we can gain a greater understanding of the tenacity and contributions of many peoples by learning about the challenges and victories faced by various cultural groupings. Being informed enables us to engage and make decisions with greater cultural sensitivity and responsiveness. Continuous learning necessitates a willingness to face hard truths and have challenging talks in order to develop cultural intelligence. This entails being willing to have difficult or uncomfortable conversations about subjects like racism, discrimination, and cultural appropriation. It entails paying close attention to other people's stories and viewpoints. Especially those of underprivileged or underrepresented groups, and doing so with empathy. It entails accepting responsibility for the effects of one's words and deeds on other people, as well as being prepared to face and admit one's own prejudices and privileges. We can create cultures that are more inclusive and equitable by fostering understanding, establishing trust, and having tough talks with humility and respect. Seeking out formal learning opportunities, such as workshops, seminars, or courses on cultural competency, diversity, and inclusion or intercultural communication, is another way to continuously develop your cultural intelligence. These planned educational opportunities can offer helpful frameworks, resources, and methods for resolving cultural conflicts and fostering intercultural understanding. They can also present chances for introspection, developing one's skills, and connecting with other culturally intelligent people. The knowledge and experiences acquired through informal education and self directed learning can be strengthened and supplemented by formal learning opportunities. Language skill development is a key component of ongoing learning for cultural intelligence. Building cross cultural relationships and understanding requires the ability to communicate successfully across linguistic obstacles. 
As language is a vital part of culture, although being multilingual isn't always feasible or required, showing respect for other cultures and establishing rapport can be greatly aided by learning and using certain simple words, as well as having an understanding of the difficulties and subtleties of interlanguage communication. Learning a language can also help us recognize the diversity of human experience and offer insights into the values, ideas, and worldviews ingrained in various linguistic systems. Finding cultural mentors and role models is another aspect of continuous learning for cultural intelligence. These are people that can offer direction, motivation, and support on our own journey. Toward cultural intelligence, since they have extensive knowledge and experience managing cultural differences, cultural mentors can be found in a variety of contexts, including the workplace, local nonprofits, and educational institutions. They can give insightful information about the difficulties and possibilities of intercultural communication, as well as pointers on how to handle challenging cross-cultural situations tactfully and successfully. We may fast. Track the development of our own cultural intelligence, and create a network of dependable connections by looking for and learning from cultural mentors. Applying what we learn in real-world situations is essential to building cultural intelligence through ongoing learning. This entails actively looking for chances to collaborate and interact across cultural boundaries, as well as applying our knowledge and skills of cultural intelligence. It entails taking chances. Committing errors and growing from our experiences. It entails being flexible enough to maintain our commitment to our own beliefs and identities, while also modifying our behavior, communication style, and approach to fit various cultural circumstances. We may increase our cultural intelligence, develop more genuine and fruitful cross-cultural connections, and help to create more inclusive and equitable societies. By putting what we've learned to use in practical situations, being an ally and supporter of cultural diversity and inclusiveness is another aspect of continuous learning for cultural intelligence. This entails elevating and supporting the perspectives and voices of underrepresented or oppressed communities by drawing on our own cultural intelligence. It entails speaking out against bias, discrimination, and injustice. As well as attempting to establish settings, behaviors, and policies that are more inclusive and equal, it entails being prepared to make use of our own advantages and platforms in order to bring attention to the issues and viewpoints of people who might not have the same possibilities or access. We can help make the world more fair and just by acting as allies and advocates, and we may encourage others to follow in our footsteps. Gaining cultural intelligence via lifelong learning is a process that calls for constant dedication, modesty, and work. It is a voyage of development and discovery, rather than a place to be arrived at. We might encounter difficulties, inconvenience, and setbacks along the road, but they can also be chances for growth and development. We may improve our understanding of ourselves and others, create more inclusive and meaningful connections. And help to create a more just and equitable world by embracing continual learning. Cultural intelligence is now essential in today's link and fast-changing world. It is no longer a luxury. Successful cross-cultural communication is dependent on a people's and an organization's capacity to negotiate cultural differences with tact, respect, and efficiency. We can create. The knowledge, abilities, and mindset required to prosper in a variety of cultural situations, and to create a more just and inclusive future for all by making a commitment to lifelong learning. The route towards continuous learning for cultural intelligence calls for bravery, curiosity, and compassion. It entails moving beyond our comfort zones, confronting our preconceptions and prejudices. And keeping an open mind to fresh insights and encounters, in the face of injustices and cultural differences, it entails having the courage to act bravely, learn with humility, and listen intently. By accepting this path, we may draw on the diversity and resiliency of the human race and endeavor 
to build a society in which every person and community can prosper. Ultimately, acknowledging our common humanity and the intrinsic value and dignity of every people is the key to cultivating cultural intelligence via lifelong learning. It is about bridging cultural gaps with mutual respect and understanding in order to create a more fair and just society for all. We can all contribute to the development of a more welcoming, caring, and prosperous global community by making the commitment to this lifelong journey of learning and development. Final lesson, cultural intelligence. Ultimately, enhancing cultural intelligence is a continuous process that demands dedication, inquisitiveness, and a readiness to expand knowledge and evolve. In this book, we have covered different strategies and practices to develop cultural intelligence. These include studying our cultural background, building diverse relationships, being open-minded, understanding rank and status, learning new languages, improving observational skills, developing emotional intelligence, active listening, seeking feedback, and committing to continuous learning. By incorporating these practices into our daily routines, we can enhance our self-awareness, strengthen relationships, and help foster a fairer society. Understanding cultural intelligence goes beyond mastering a skill. It involves continuous reflection, growth, and action as a way of life. In today's world, cultural intelligence is essential as we interact with diverse cultures and societies. It is crucial for achieving success in personal and professional situations, as well as for creating a more inclusive and fair future for everyone. By enhancing our cultural intelligence, we can access the depth and strength of human diversity and strive to build a world where everyone can flourish. Understanding cultural intelligence may pose challenges, yet it is a valuable endeavor. It involves pushing past our comfort zones, questioning our assumptions and biases, and being receptive to different viewpoints and experiences. It involves actively listening, humbly learning, and courageously taking action in response to cultural differences and injustices. As we finish this book, we encourage you to embark on the journey of cultural intelligence with bravery, inquisitiveness, and empathy. Keep expanding your knowledge evolving, and making strides towards creating a more diverse and fair society. Keep in mind that each interaction, relationship, and moment is a chance to enhance cultural intelligence and create a positive influence on the world. Let's work together to build a world that celebrates diversity, values, and respects all people and communities, and enables us to connect and thrive across cultural boundaries. By embracing cultural intelligence, we can all contribute to creating a fairer, more caring, and diverse global community.